The topic we are going to discuss is version space. For that, we have to discuss what is concept learning version space and algorithms for version space. First of all, make us clear what is concept learning. Concept learning is a process to find a suitable representation method or suitable hypothesis among the hypothesis space. For example, what is a concept? For example, we can take an example of play games. The concept that we want to learn is the concept that we want to learn is play. Play is the concept that we want to learn. For that, we are provided with some positive examples and some negative examples. We have to find a suitable representation or hypothesis to exactly define this concept play. Uh, now, let us clear what is version space. Version space is a set of consistent set of consistent hypothesis among all hypothesis space that is that is how we represent the knowledge of this concept for example we are considering d as a set of training examples h as a set of hypothesis space and c as the concept that we want to learn using our Example, D is a set of examples, positive and negative. H is a set of rules, rules or models for learning this problem. And C is the concept that we want to learn. The concept that we want to learn is play. Hypothesis space includes n number of hypotheses. For example, here we are taking a hypothesis H1. Here we are having attributes outlook, temperature, outlook, temperature and play. And this outlook has these many values, sunny, rainy and temperature has hot, cold, mild. Play can be two values. One is play or another one is not play. This C of X represent the actual value provided in the training set. And this H1 of X is the prediction value. H1 is our hypothesis of rule. X is our instance. Here, actual value is no and predicted value is no. That means this one is correct. And here, S, S, this one is correct. No, no, this one is correct. And this one also correct. That means the hypothesis H1 exactly predicts our instances. Now, consider this H2 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 of x means what is the value of x using this hypothesis h2 here actual value is no that means we could we cannot able to play on this atmospheric conditions but the hypothesis gives s this prediction is wrong and this one is correct this one is correct and this one is wrong so considering these two hypothesis space h1 and h2 which one is consistent h1 this this one is consistent because the actual value and predicted value are same for all the instances in the training set now we define what is consistent hypothesis a hypothesis becomes consistent when h of x equal to c of x for all x element of d Consistent h comma d is equal to for all x x comma c of x element of d h of x equal to c of x. That means already we have quoted with an example for all consistent hypothesis for that training set d means for such pairs of x comma c x for all pairs of x comma c x element of d h of x equal to c of x. Now we define what is version space. There are various hypotheses in hypothesis space like H1, H2, etc. From the same examples, H2 is not consistent. So it cannot constitute version space. Version space for a particular problem with respect to a training set D and a hypothesis space H for a concept C is a set of consistent hypotheses. 
मैंने हाइपोथेसिस बिकम कंसिस्टेंट मैंने इस एक्चुअल वैल्यू एंड प्रेडिक्टेड वैल्यू आर सेम फॉर ऑल इंस्टेंसेस इन द ट्रेनिंग सेट मर्चेंट स्पेस ऑफ d, h is equal to h एलिमेंट ऑफ h सम h एलिमेंट ऑफ h वेयर h of x equal to c of x for all x element of d now there are various algorithms to find version space there are, it uses the positive examples to generalize the concept and negative examples to remove remove over generalization three algorithms three algorithms are there one is general to specific algorithm general specific to general algorithm and general to specific direction and candidate elimination algorithm with this picture we can make clear what is exactly a version space is here we can see s c and g g stands for most general hypothesis c for concept and s for most specific hypothesis here this is the rectangle this is the rectangle that we want to that we want to learn and it includes some positive examples here and some negative examples here and here we can see a small rectangle that includes only the positive examples this rectangle is known as most specific hypothesis and here we can see a larger rectangle that contains only positive examples and no negative examples and here it contains some another con instances also that means this one is the most general hypothesis and the area between these two these two rectangles and area between these two rectangles constitute version constitute version space for the explanation of this version space we are considering two assumptions for each attribute it can take a specific value or it can take any value a specific value is represented using that particular value for example warm and any value any value can be represented using a variable like x y z or any variable p q r in the previous course machine learning course we have represent any value using question mark in the following sessions um, this question mark that means that means any value that is replaced with the variable names like x x y z p q consider this example in this example we are taking on hypothesis h1 that is sunny question mark question mark strong question mark question mark. here this question mark means any value is possible for air temperature and and this sunny means that for a for this attribute sky the value possible is sunny this in our following explanation this question mark is replaced with the a variable here any variable names you can use this question mark is replaced with the w and this question mark is replaced with the y and so and so and here in h2 particular value for sky possible is sunny and for remaining all the attributes any value are possible that is represented by question mark in the previous machine learning course and now we are representing it using variable names h3 means all question mark means any value is possible that is all represented using variable names now let us clear what is general what is specific to general direction specific to general direction this algorithm we have already learned in machine learning course that means we are starting from a specific hypothesis we are take we are taking each instances and we are taking each instances and we are modifying the hypothesis till we get a consistent one for example we are initialize this s with the first posit we can start from s from nothing and on seeing a first positive example we can give 
that values to here. N is a set that include all negative instances seen so far. On seeing a positive instances, let's check for let's check whether our current hypothesis accept this positive instance. If it doesn't accept, it does not match, we have to give some generalizations. And we have to we have to delete from S all hypothesis which doesn't match with the previously observed negative instances. For every negative instances, we have to delete all members of S that match in. We'll make it clear by explaining some examples. In short, specific to general direction of finding version space, it starts from null space. On seeing positive examples, we have to make changes in this S to accept that positive example. And when we get a negative example, if there exists some hypothesis which accept this negative instance, we have to remove that hypothesis. Special to general direction, algorithm uses positive examples to generalize and negative examples to avoid over generalization. This is an example we have already learned in a machine learning that is enjoy sport. Find a version space for enjoy sport. This is a training set given. How we are starting? We are starting from SQS null set. And on seeing this first positive training example, what we have to do? We have to check whether we can accept this training instance one using S. Can we accept now? No. So, we have to make appropriate changes. If the value is sunny, warm, normal, strong, warm, same, then we can accept. So, this is a positive instance. If the attribute values are like this, we can accept. So, our H1 becomes sunny, warm, normal, strong, warm, same. Now, the hypothesis like this. Again, we got another positive instance. Now, we have to check whether we can accept this instance 2 using H1. Sunny, sunny, marching. Warm, warm, marching. Normal and high, that is, that is not marching. Strong, strong, marching. We have warm, warm and same, same, marching. So, in the previous case, in instance 1, the value is normal and now the value is high. Both values are okay with play games. So, any value can be possible. Any value can be possible here. Any value can be possible here. For that, we can use some variable name. Instead of this question mark, in this explanation, we are in this session, in this course, we are using some variable w. Any variable you can use w for this attribute. Now the hypothesis is h2, this one. Now we got a negative instance. Let's check whether this using this hypothesis we can reject this training instance tree. Sunny is allowable for sky but the value is raining so this instance violate this hypothesis and we are rich we there is no change there is no change in this hypothesis now the hypothesis like this and we got a positive instance now we have to check whether we can accept this instance using this hypothesis sunny sunny matches mom mom matches this one w any value is acceptable so high is okay here strong strong matches here cool and here warm that doesn't match here change and here same this is also not matches but in the previous case previous case 
forecast any value same and change both are acceptable for water warm and cool both are accepted so that what we can go we can give we can give any value in this example how we represent any value using variables using variables so we have used the variable w x y z so the final hypothesis is sunny warm w strong y z using this hypothesis we can accept all positive instances and we can reject all negative instances